Well, good morning. Paul Swanson with you from paulswanson.com. And uh, it's, I don't know, 6.20 or so in the morning here in uh, northern Wisconsin. And um, the sun is just coming up. We'll, uh, we'll give you a, a quick look at what's going on out there. Daylight Lake Superior, and uh, another new day here. That's what I wanted to talk about just briefly this morning. Um, today is Friday. Today is Veterans Day. And uh, thank you to all my fellow veterans. And um, it's been three days now. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, three days since the election. And what the hell is going on? <laughs> it's been <laughs> Donald Trump won, Hillary Clinton lost. You know, I wrote about this a couple of days ago. And, you know, it's, yes, it's a sports analogy, but, you know, the recent World Series, Cubs and Cleveland, went seven games, which is a good thing. Makes it exciting, makes it, um, makes it certainly enjoyable, it gets the viewership, which they obviously got, but it was, um, hey, went down to seven games and went into extra innings. The Cubs won. You know, lots of celebratory um, goings on in, in uh, Chicago, but uh, I don't remember reading or seeing any news reports of rioting in the streets in Cleveland or anywhere else because of Cleveland losing. You know, um, you know, it's just an, it's an election. Yes, there are important things, but the election itself is not intrinsically important. Those things surrounding the election are intrinsically important, but the election itself, my gosh, you know, over the past, what, two nights now, we've had um, protesters, rioters, upset folk in, from what I've seen, or what I've seen the reports, um, in Portland, in Seattle, I believe, in L.A., Phoenix. Um, I just saw last night uh, the folks I know in Denver were reporting that uh, there were riots and or um, people taking to the streets in Denver. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Minneapolis, just about four hours from here. Um, there were uh, Chicago, New York, and D.C., at least I know, and, and I've probably missed some, but, you know, I, I don't get it. Yes, you're upset. Um, was, was I happy when, in 2008 and then again in 2012, Barack Obama won the election and, it, you know, subsequently was re-elected. I didn't take to the streets. Maybe I would understand this if we had protesters here in northern Wisconsin, but we don't. And I'm glad we don't, because again, like I said, it just doesn't make sense. Um, it would make more sense if these people were to be um, doing something constructive. You know, you look, you know, taking maybe a little bit of introspection. Um, why didn't you win? Could it be that maybe Hillary Clinton didn't connect with anybody? How about taking a look at that? How about taking a look at the fact that um, the, the purported policies that she had were, um, didn't make sense and didn't connect with anybody? 
Donald Trump spoke to the people. He spoke to what uh, what the people were feeling, and and he won. It wasn't a landslide. It was a well, you know, maybe not well fought, but uh, certainly hard fought uh, election. And um, so it's you know it's time to move on. I've got a couple of new projects that were. Oops, that's a little light flash there. Sorry about that. Um, we have a bit of, you know, I've got a new project um, that just came up last night, and uh, we're going to be working on that. And I have a, a visitor here, whoops. <laughs> Rusty was going to, Rusty was going to come up here, but anyway. Um, yeah, we've, we've taken a look, you know, took a, took a day or so and took a look at uh, a number of things, and we've got a, we've got a new project, um, to work on and it's going to be based on the election we're not going you know taking to the streets and rioting and everything we're going to do um, going to be reasoned and um, engage in conversations and and um, dialogue with folks uh, to move things forward so um, I, I don't like I said I don't get it I've not seen any Um, reasoned explanation for the riots and, and you know disturbances and you know, I don't, don't call them riots but um, marches and, and things that go on I kind of had to laugh at the kids who uh, in Phoenix I think yesterday were um, had left school I, they just wanted an excuse to get out of class said, come on really <laughs> they don't understand they don't understand the political process at all to to make any um, real learned decisions about that. So they just wanted to get out of class, and there's a perfect excuse for it. For those who are my age, look back to the '60s. You know, he wanted to protest the war. Man, you know, hey, it was a good excuse to get out of class for a day or two. But um, we're going to be moving ahead. We're going to be, um, we're, we've got a couple of new projects going on here. Um, but to get back to what I was thinking about, the, I, I really haven't seen any reasoned, cognizant explanations for why these um, marches and, and, and things are going on. Even the folks that get interviewed in, 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 uh, by the reporters and all, at these things don't even um, appear to have any sort of solid explanation or reasons for why they're there. <clears throat> it's um, and, and that's another part of it, you know. If you can't uh, cognizantly um, explain what you're doing and why you're doing it, um, that tells me a lot. I am probably doing the same thing a little bit here because I haven't had quite enough coffee this morning, but uh, I'll probably write it. I will probably, I will write about this a little more. Um, but um, we're, like I said, we're going to move ahead. We've got new projects, and um, the one person I have seen a, a, a good, um, reasoned level. Um, no flame throwing and brick throwing or anything like that about <clears throat> what occurred on Tuesday with the election it was Jason Calacanis, and uh, he wrote a real nice uh, little multi-paragraphed thing about uh, his view on the election from a um, from the point of view of, of somebody being in Silicon Valley. And it was good. You know, I enjoyed it. I, you know, I don't. You know, Jason was a Hillary supporter for all things, from everything I can tell, but, um, you know, but he was, um, wasn't calling people names and everything. He really sat down and take, took a good look at uh, the overall um, view and, and occurrences of what happened and, and put his thoughts down on paper. It was real good. So anyway, it's Friday. It's Veterans Day. <clears throat> Go thank a veteran, and uh, we'll talk with you all again real soon. Have a great Friday.